Let's read over this on Reddit and see what they have. It's pretty insane. I actually think it's pretty cool, but of course for any whale out there, it's gonna be amazing for all those whales. I don't know how strong I can make my champions, but I mean, this is a lot of additional attributes. Now remember, this is all off of base stats. Let's look at this. Look at this image and then look behind the image. You can see the sparring pit or whatever they call the ring now. You can see the different tabs they have for it. And if you look really hard behind this image on the far right, you can actually see champions. You can see the three rows of champions. So it looks like it's from the test server. You can also see an armager or something right here in the very middle. Again, there's the sparring pit tabs behind this on the left hand side. And then you can see champions on the right hand side. So it gives it a little bit of legitimacy, I think. If you put one champion in here, I know we don't know what this is, but this is HP, attack, down here. HP, attack, defense, accuracy, resistance, speed, critical damage, and then actual crit rate, which is really cool. Only on the fourth champion. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Weren't there supposed to be five champions thrown into one? Because if that was the case, then this might not be real at all. But I think four into one, five total, makes sense to me. So here we've got, again, let me see, HP, attack, defense, HP, attack, defense. Okay, HP, attack, defense, 40%. Now remember, 40% goes off their base stat. So if they have 20,000 HP base, that's what it's going to go off of. If they have 1,400 attack, that 40% is going to go off of that. Not super crazy, but yes, very, very insane, considering if you throw four in there, that we're going to get an additional 55 resistance 55 accuracy plus 15 speed we get an additional 10 speed on the second one then we get another five speed on the fourth one and then this fourth one into it which a lot of us even myself included won't have this on very very few champions maybe one or two champions we get an additional 30 critical damage 10 percent crit rate and then 15 speed overall is insane all this is very very empowering indeed when you talk about how hard a duchess or ursuga can be to take down in platinum arena especially ursuga man with the reaction accessories with swift parry popping up whenever they come back to life even being brought back by siffy and then swift parry can proc again it gets really insane sure our attack based champions are going to have 40 percent additional attack if they do damage based off of defense 40 percent additional defense whatever their base defense is but giving ursuga and Duchess, 40% additional, plus the resistance, plus the speed. Yeah, we're trying to counteract it with the additional 30 critical damage and 10% crit rate. That way we don't have to have the gear requirement we had before. Maybe we can get some more damage out of them. I hear you. I just, overall, this is a lot. This is These are a lot of additional stats overall. And for the whales, yeah, the gap between free-to-play and whales got even bigger i mean huge bigger even the whales who have so many champions and then the mega whales just got bigger think about that the gap between whales and mega whales just got bigger that means that those whales are going to want to spend more those mega whales are going to want to spend more if they don't have four additional copies or maybe they use two of these champions so they're going to need a total of 10 copies of these champions and some of those mega whales have those they have 10 copies so they can make two really powerful. I'm sure they're going to do that. They're going to spend more and that gap between whale and mega whale is getting bigger already. That is pretty insane. This additional speed is nuts. I mean, already 10 for two is pretty cool if you have to, but think about it this way too. If you are free to play, if you're not in platinum arena every week, then I know, I know it's not, I don't, I don't really agree with it either. I think it is pretty interesting that they're doing this, but I don't agree with it completely. It's not going to help me out, but I don't really do platinum arena when they bring in, they've already like, to me, they've already ruined with reaction accessories with swift parry, anything to do with arena. And it's not that they have those artifacts and accessories. It's how you obtain them. It's always about how you obtain them. If we could all farm swift parry and reaction, it would be fine. But really only the elitists get them. Only the elite people in the game with the 300 of platinum arena every week, get them in bulk. And only the people that do well in CVC get all that CVC stuff. So if we could farm it, I would be completely okay with the reaction accessories and swift berry. But since we can't, to me, in my eyes, arena has already been ruined. So if they do anything with clan versus clan, if they do real time arena, and then we have this in the game, it's not going to pertain to us. It's not going to worry about, you know, the person who's doing gold one or gold two or gold three or even gold four every week. I don't really think has to worry about this. It's not going to affect them 
that much. For me in Tag Team Arena, I stay between Gold 1 and Gold 2. I don't think it's going to really affect me there. And then I stay in Gold 4 and Platinum Arena. But this is insane, guys. So let me know your thoughts about this down below. And we'll read through some of these comments to see. Also, that's right. We got to take into consideration the Faction Guardians. So we get these total stats plus... We get additional stats for each of the factions. So once we throw that in there, it's going to go up to 50% additional off of base, 50% defense, 85 resist, 25 speed for every whale duchess, and 50% attack, 30 critical damage, and then the crit rate for their trundas. Pretty game-breaking if you ask me. It is. It's pretty game-breaking for them. It'll make it for faster speed runs as well going through dungeons. It's definitely going to increase those speed runs and make those faster. None of the content creators can talk about this yet. I'm sure I, we know they're already forming their own opinions and making their own videos about it. And as soon as they can drop the information, they're going to have a video out for you explaining their thoughts and their feelings about this, right? This is insane. It needs to be fake or I will quit. Look, it's probably not going to even affect you. I think somebody down here said, look, it's not going to affect you. You don't have to worry about it. You're not up there in that whale category, but it might. Like I said, those this is the big gap now between whale and mega whale kraken. This might affect you. Those whales that got a lot of amazing champions, even a couple dupes of all those amazing champions, aren't like the krakens. So they are... <laughs> They're going to be affected. They're like, man, I dropped 100,000 on this game, and now I can't compete with the people who dropped 500,000 or a million. What am I going to do? Hey, spend more money. Spend more money. Support the game so we don't have to. We appreciate that. Go for it. Empowerment's too strong. Breaking the game. Empowerment too weak. What's the point? Yeah, I know. That's the thing, right? What is the point of empowerment if it's too weak? And then if it's too strong, you're going to have both sides. What if they come out with an easier way to obtain legendary champions? An even easier way than we have right now. A way that everybody out there can start to get legendary champions more often. I think that's what they're going to do. Let's be optimistic and say that they're going to do that. Give us a way to get legendary champions more often. And then everybody will be happy. <laughs> This looks like a good one. Whales are going to whale. It's pretty clear that their whole revenue system depends on high spenders continuing to buy energy and shards. This system is to encourage them to continue to whale out. I think it is. I think it's going to make all those guys want to whale more. And if they make it easier for us to get legendary champions, then that's good for them as well. They'll just keep buying and get duplicate. They have to make it easier for everyone out there to get legendaries. But this really only affects whales, in my opinion, in Platinum Arena. I agree with you. I do agree with you, but I think it's going to affect some, I think it's going to affect whale on whale. It's definitely going to affect whale on whale and whether those whales want to continue to spin like crazy or not. Maybe they've been satisfied so far. Maybe they haven't been giving a reason. This is the reason now. Before they didn't, okay, those whales that aren't Krakens necessarily didn't have a reason to go crazy. They had their two or three copies of their Siffies, their Rotos, their Duchess, or at least one or two, right? And then they had two or three of all the good stuff, Necret, anything else that they needed, they had those. So they didn't need to spend anymore. So now this gives them a reason to spend. It wasn't that they wanted to stop spending. They just were like, why would I spend anymore? Now they have a reason to spend. That does make sense. I'm behind that. So this is only about empowerment of legendaries. The rest of the dupe system, I think, is really good for all of us out there. You guys, let me know your thoughts down below. First off, do you think this is real? I think it is. If you look behind this image, it looks very real. Let me know first if you think it's real, and then what do you feel about these additional stats boosts? Do you think that this is a good idea? Give me your thoughts down below. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Appreciate your time. I will see you all in a video soon.